Today, take a look at the fire core laser level. Got a really nice heavy duty case and a foam insert so that everything stays organized. Got our instructions. And this one actually has a remote, so that means you're not going to worry about accidentally bumping it and changing anything. We got some eye protection. We got our charging cable, it's USB A to USB C. We got our target plate. So that way if you have to shine that laser very far distances, some point where you're not going to be able to really see it with your eye, this is going to be able to reflect that laser so you still be able to see it even if you're in a very bright environment. This is cool. So this is a little stand. So that way if you need to lift this guy up just a little bit, you'll be able to get a very fine adjustment with this much better than you'll be able to get if you're trying to adjust anything by hand. We got our battery. It does come fully charged and it says it's 6600 milliamp hours with 3.7 volts. And here is the level. Wow, that is a thick big guy. So this is nice. It actually came with a battery. So we have two batteries with this kit. You know, check that one. That one is also fully charged. So we can see on here, this is a fairly impressive laser level. We have a total of four emitters on here. One, two, three, and then four there on the bottom. So you might be asking yourself, why do you have one on the top as well as on the bottom? But you want one on the top because that way if you have to butt this thing up against the ceiling, you need to put a straight line down very close to the ceiling. This is going to be what you want for that. But if you want to bump something down to the floor, this might be too tall. I mean, we're talking about a good five, six inches off of the floor. With this one, you'll be able to put that nearly flush with the floor and still be able to get your level line. So if you want to buy only one level, one like this is the type to get. On the bottom, we got two threaded mounts. So we got a quarter 20. We can put this on any kind of a camera tripod and we got a five eight. So if you want to put this on a laser level tripod, you can do that. On the back, we got four very strong magnets. So if you want to put this to a metal surface, anything we're going to be doing industrial work, this is going to be excellent for that. And we also have a hanging hole there. So if we were to spin this guy, that will actually allow us to rotate the whole level. So this is basically going to do the same thing that this does, except for rotation. So if you're trying to hit a screw from a very far distance away, this is going to make your life a lot easier than trying to just grab the level and do it manually. But we can throw a screw through there. We can attach this to the wall or we can use magnets if we have a metal surface. So lots of different options for mounting this guy. We got our on off switch right here and we can see that on the top that that is flashing that's because it's not perfectly level this needs to be within four degrees and then that will give you that steady light so that you know you are perfectly level now maybe you want to have a straight line but you don't have to worry about it being perfectly level we can just press and hold the manual button now we'll be able to have that nice solid line but you'll be able to put that at any angle that you want and we can see that is a very bright laser so even if you're working outside you're still gonna be able to see that thing but if you want to save battery power we can adjust that laser to make it darker or we can just go full brightness this button on the top is going to turn on and off all of our different lasers so now we got the bottom, we got the top, and we got both sides. So four total emitters, and you can have them all on at the same time if you want to. And we can also see on the display which laser is on, which one is off. Now if we press and hold that button, now we are in pulse mode. So if you have a receiver, then you'll be able to put this guy so far away that you won't even be able to see the lasers, but the receiver will be able to see that. You'll be able to tell if you're still in level. So awesome that it has that function. So these three bars here on the left, that is the power level. These three bars are the brightness. With the remote with the up and down arrows, we can adjust which lasers we're going to be using. Or go back. We can turn the pulse mode on and off. And we can adjust the brightness. Nice being able to do all of that without having to actually touch the laser level. So that way, if you have it the way we want, we don't have to worry about bumping it and accidentally throwing off where we had it set. So yeah, getting everything nice and straight and parallel and level is important to you. Laser level like this will be your best friend.